I know. Working on the old case D, D model. And last time on, I was fixing up that radiator. Well, this is part two, so I pulled the grill off the front there and uh, thought I'd have a look at these shutters. I do want to blow this radiator out because it's full of dust. But the shutters here, well, have a look at this. It comes through here, down here, and this side here, you unscrew it. Screw that in. I'll put some WD-40 on there, and uh, you wouldn't believe it. The shutters are all in good working condition. Never been bashed up or anything. So, uh, yeah, just uh, unscrew that. And next thing you know, yep, shutters are open. So I'm happy with that. Right, I think the carby might be the next on the list of check it out things. So um, I'm going to start getting some spanners out and pull okay. it off. Okay, one carburetor coming off. There's only uh, choke cable, fuel line, and throttle cable. And uh, I'm a bit suspect with this carby. I don't know why, but straight away that idle screw screwed right in. Why is that? Anyway, I oh, know. There's a fair bit of carbon down in there. What's that mean? It's been backfiring, has it? Anyway, start pulling the bits. You need a 516 spanner to get this one off. Okay, that's it. It's had water in there, that's for sure. Yep, plenty of uh, rust in the bottom of there. Taking the idle screw out. Trying to get the floats off. Come on. The needle out. It all looks fine. I can tell you this jet hasn't been out for a long time. I didn't th actually think I was going to get it. Anyway, that's about the last thing to come out. I'm going to clean it all and probably sandblast it. Well, I think that needs cleaning. That's for sure. Get this out to me. Uh, this is the, this will be the main jet. It's usually adjustable on these old tractors. Righto. There's a jet there. This thing here has got to be tightened up. I've cleaned it all out in there. I've filed these nice and flat for the gasket. It's all clean up in there now. Beauty clean. I've blown it all out. There's a jet there, a jet there, and a needle valve goes in there, and floats go back on there. I'll put it all back together. Uh, this has got to go in here too, actually. Nope, that way. The Venturi. I'll put it together and then we'll come back. I actually think the gasket's going to survive, so I'm going to put it back. It'll be alright. I'll go and put it back on the tractor. All cleaned up, cleaned out. Not that there was much right up. The carby's back on there, but I'm not going to hook it up yet. Got to run some fuel for you and a few things, so... Now I'm going to have a look at these. I'm going to pull a couple spark plugs out. I should have checked to see if the thing's even going to have spark long before this, but here we go anyway. Right, I'll pull the plugs out. And, uh... They're all pretty clean. But I've cleaned that one. But I don't think there's anything wrong with those plugs. I think they'll be fine. Right, I... All the plugs are out. That one's up there. And, um... I can't seem to get any spark, so I think we've got a problem here. So, uh, okay then, so looks thing you know, we're pulling the end off here. What I have just done is I've got in here and I've just cleaned them points. I've got some uh, paper in there and give them a clean out. Let's see how we go here. But if I turn that over, I just turn it over the fan and then it stops turning and then spark. 
that's how fast it needs to go to generate a spark. Righto, the plugs are all back in. And um, next thing I'm going to do is I'm over here and I've got the fuel bowl off. That's the petrol line. That You undo that and you get Kero out. And then this is the line for the carby. And yeah, so I'll just have a bit of a clean out here. Definitely plenty of water been in there. I dare say some of that petrol rust that's going to be coming through, it'll be a fair bit, that's for sure. Right, I've got up here and I've cleaned the little fuel bowl out. Took me a while mucking around, getting a gasket. Got a bit of choke on, fuel's all hooked up. Got some petrol in the tank, got Caro in there. I've cleaned this breather out. I had to put that hose, a new hose on there. That's all back together. There's no water in it at the moment. I think I'm going to switch the petrol on. That's the emergency shut off. And I'm going to see if I can um, see if she'll fire. Here we go. That's amazing, isn't it? That's as sweet as a Okay, I've done some cleaning on the tractor and it's much better now. Pressure cleaned it off. And um, I'm going to make an elbow for the exhaust pipe and a bit of pipe on there. So I'm working on that at the moment. Right, I'm working on the exhaust pipe. I've got a bit of plate there and I've got this bend. And I'll be able to take the pipe off the bend. I've got it sitting pretty right there. So I'm going to weld it on and Try it. Give it a tack and see what happens. Right, eh? I'll just put this on here, see how it fits up. When you weld that, it buckles the plate a bit. But do you know what? It already had a hollow in the manifold, so I'm just going to... It'll be fine. It'll, it just looks like it's going to work out really flat. I'll put the gasket under it and it'll be really good. How well did I fix the leak? Well, I've got to say, that's a no leaks to report. for a good at least half an hour ran it on Kero that was in the tank there it's probably 30 year old and runs exactly the same so uh, run like a beauty so I'm dropping the oil I'll probably drop the water again and uh, yeah we'll put some fresh oil in it whether it needs it or not and there's two drain plugs on this engine one there and one there that has to be drained as well Yep, the screen here, I have no idea what I'm about to 
encounter, but so we up for a new gasket. There it is. That's the screen. Get up here and have a look. It's almost too hot to hang on to, but it's not not frighteningly dirty. Right, oh, there's the screen all cleaned up, new gasket, and I decided to pull the side plate off and stuck a light in there. And that's what it looks like inside this thing. And I've given it a clean out with some petrol. I'll shove the camera right up in there. I don't know whether you can see anything. But that's what it looks like. I can't see what I'm looking at. Looking inside this engine. And um, that's what it's like in here. Got it pretty good. That's the oil pump. That's the hole. <laughs> right, the screen and side, side plates back in place. I'll go around here. Pull all the plugs back in there. That means the top one is full. Right up. That's it. She's got Take the tap cover off here and have a bit of a look in here. And it's heavy, that's for sure. The instructions say 0.18 of an inch. So uh, that's actually a pretty big gap in there. And if you've got this end here, the valves are just rocking. This end here will be on compression strut. And that's as loose as a goose. And that one's, if they're rocking, they're on top dead center, firing stroke. That's loose. That's loose. Loose. Quite okay. Yeah, just a little bit of drag. That's good. I'm happy with that one. This one here, a bit more. I'm happy with them. They're good. Right, oh, after I put the tappet cover on, I procrastinated for about two weeks and decided to buy some new tyres. So I'm going to put them on there now. Right, oh, they mounted up there pretty good. Now I've got to put the, the bearings, I've got to get some grease in them and uh, put it back together. Right, oh, the wheel, wheels are going on, and here's the, the new bearing which has been waiting for me since 1970 to come and buy. And uh, I've got actually a special tool here for this. I'm glad it fits. Here comes the wheel. Looks like I've got to go down a bit. Here we go. Come on, get on there. Getting better. One of these, please. I've got these screws in the back here that I had to take out. They uh, tricked me the other time. They say run them tight, spin them like that, and loosen them off an eighth of a turn. Should have straightened it all out. How's it going to go? Stick the second nut on. Inch and seven sixteen. This one is when that's tight. <clears throat> yep, has a little bit of looseness in it. Put the caps on, and uh, that'll do me for the day then. Right, out's the next day. We've got wheels on. Everything's looking pretty good. Got a bit of fuel in it. Neutral. I've already taken it for a little run, and. Uh, We've got uh, one, four and reverse, three and two. We're going with third. These old tractors clutch. Push it all the way forward. We're in business. 
You can stand up. You ever been fun? Here we have it. We're driving. Yeah.